First, in HD, this is 13 Eyewitness News Tonight. Texas economy being fueled in part by the natural gas fields to our south. The industry has brought more than a half million jobs to the state and more workers are needed. Well, Action 13's consumer reporter Jeff Ealing is joining us live now with tips on getting those jobs. Jeff. And Dave, the reality is those workers are going to be needed for years to come. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of additional jobs. Here's how to get them. The Eagle Ford Shale Play is one of the largest oil and gas fields in the world. It's already brought hundreds of thousands of jobs to Texas and more are needed. Yeah, you're talking tens of thousands of jobs, absolutely no doubt. David Spencer Ogden knows firsthand about the number of jobs needed. He's a recruiter in the oil and gas industry. You're at the start of, of this shale boom now in America. So it's got a lot of legs and it's got a lot of uh, capacity to hire a lot of people. Spencer says those looking to start a career should get a background in engineering, geology or geosciences. He says recruiters can match you with the right position. If you don't have a degree in engineering, don't worry. You build a power station, you need 10,000 people to build a power station. You know, seven to 8,000 of them are construction workers. The industry also needs to fill positions in HR, accounting, electricians, all are in high demand. And a good way to get noticed, the social media site LinkedIn. I am hearing more and more and more hiring authorities and companies utilizing LinkedIn. Your workplace doctor, Bonnie Monage, says signing up with LinkedIn costs nothing. And if you know where to look, you can use it to find a job. You want to check out the groups that are available within the oil and gas industry within your discipline. Join those groups. And do keep in mind some of these jobs would require you to relocate either to another part of Texas or maybe another part of the country. Now, coming up tomorrow on Eyewitness News at 10, a first-time car buyer makes a $4,000 mistake. We'll tell you how we helped her and what you can do to keep the same thing from happening to you. That's tomorrow on Eyewitness News at 10. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, 13, Eyewitness News.